Darren Roy Mack, born January 31, 1961, became the subject of an international manhunt in June 2006 after being charged with the stabbing death of his 39-year-old estranged wife, Charla Mack, in the garage of their Reno, Nevada home. Mack was also suspected of, and later charged with, the sniper shooting of family court judge Chuck Weller, who was handling the couple's acrimonious divorce. Charla Mack was murdered after 9 o'clock a.m. on June 12, 2006, and Judge Weller was shot around 11.05 a.m. the same day. Judge Weller spent time recovering and returned to his courtroom on August 16. According to a close friend, Mack was angry over a divorce settlement issued by Judge Weller, in addition to child support capped by state law at $849 per month. Darren Mack was ordered to pay $10,000 per month for spousal support plus household expenses. Darren Mack's gross monthly income was approximately $44,528,000 per year. While his wife had no income, Mack evaded police for 10 days, during which time he was featured on the Fox show America's Most Wanted and the FBI's Most Wanted website. Mack was a hunter and sportsman and records show he owned a point for O caliber Smith and Wesson handgun and a Bush Master Point 2 to 3 semi-automatic rifle. Police said he possessed a federal firearms license and permit to carry a concealed weapon. A search of his apartment found ammunition and bomb materials. Mack surrendered to Mexican authorities after they surrounded him at a resort's pool in Puerto Vallarta on June 22, 2006. The following day he was flown to Dallas, Texas for booking and returned to Reno. Authorities located Max rented Silver Ford Explorer in Ensenada. On February 24, 2007, CBS featured Max Crimes in a 48 hours mystery story entitled The Darren Mac Case. On April 24, 2012, the channel Investigation Discovery featured a story on the crime and a reenactment of it with actors on their show Deadly Sins. On November 5, 2007, Mack pleaded guilty to first-degree murder and entered an Alford plea on the charge of attempted murder. Darren Mack grew up in northern Nevada and graduated from Reno High School. He attended the University of Nevada on a baseball scholarship. Mack had been involved in the family-owned Palace Jewelry and Lone 14 Pawn Shop since the age of 7 and at the time of his arrest was a part owner and eBay merchant. In 2003, his income was estimated at $500,000 annually and his net worth at $9.4 million. According to his brother Landon, Mack was active politically and founded the Nevada Pawn Broker Association on November 5, 2007. Mack pleaded guilty to first-degree murder and entered an Alford plea to the attempted murder charge just as the trial was to begin. In exchange for a recommendation by the prosecutor for life in prison with parole available after 20 years, the judge was not bound by the sentencing recommendation, Max said during the plea. I do understand right now in my state of mind that shooting at the judiciary is not a proper form of political redress, Mac attempted to withdraw his pleas, saying he was coerced by Chesnoff and Freeman and that his signature was forged. Judge Douglas Herndon denied Mac's motion to withdraw filed by his new defense attorney, William Routsies, during sentencing. Routsies continued to renew his requests for Herndon to grant Mack a new trial, under the terms of the plea agreement. Herndon sentenced Mack to life in prison for murdering his wife. He also gave Mack the maximum sentence of 40 years, with parole eligibility, after 16 years. For the attempted murder of Judge Weller and a deadly weapon enhancement, the sentences run consecutively rendering Mack ineligible for parole for at least 36 years. Another hearing on his arguments was scheduled for April 2008. On March 18, 2008, a Washoe County jury delivered a $590 million settlement against Mack in the wrongful death. Lawsuit of his wife, Charla. $560 million was awarded to the couple's young daughter, Erica, with the remainder to go to his wife's estate.